Hello, in this video I'll be explaining Hooke's Law. Hooke's Law applies to pretty much any material that hasn't yet reached its elastic limit. For example, a spring with masses being hung from the end of it. You can see on this graph here of force against extension that the first region here is a straight line. This is the elastic region. That means that if the force is removed, the material will go back to its original shape. Beyond this limit, you'll see the graph curves. If the force is now removed, the spring or whatever material this is will be permanently deformed and will not return back along the same path. For Hooke's law to apply, we must be operating in this elastic region. Hooke's law says that for a material that has not reached its elastic limit, force is proportional to extension. We can write this as F is proportional to X or that F is equal to KX. Now this constant of proportionality is the force constant. Which is a measure of the stiffness of the material. So a material that has a high force constant will be very stiff, it will be very difficult to stretch or to compress. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have an object hanging on a single wire. The object has a mass of five kilograms. We know that the original length of the wire, that is the length before the mass was hung from it, was 50 centimeters. And the final length of the wire, that is after the force is applied to it, is 50.2 centimetres. We would like to find out the force constant K of this wire. Let's find out how stiff the wire is. Well, we know that the equation is force equals spring constant multiplied by extension. So first of all, we need to find out what the force is. Now the force here is the weight of the object due to gravity, mg. So, so the force here is five kilograms multiplied by 9.81 meters per second squared, the acceleration due to gravity, which is equal to 49.05 newtons. Now be careful here. Some students will make the mistake of using one of these lengths as X. X is the extension, is the difference between the two lengths so we need to do the final length, 50.2 centimetres, remembering to convert that to our SI units. Take away the original length, and that will give us our extension of 0 0.2 times 10 to the minus 2 metres. Finally, let's plug this into our equation, so F equals kx, rearranging to find k is equal to f divided by x. So that's 49.05 divided by 0 0.2 times 10 to the minus 2, giving us an answer of 2.45 times 10 to the power of 4 and the SI unit for the force constant is the Newton per meter.